Hello, drinks to you people. I am here with my main man, Giuseppe, one of my favourite bartenders. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, we are going to celebrate the wonderful world of vermouth, which actually I don't know enough about. We're going to do three cocktails, and they're going to be incredible. We're going to start with a more simple, build it up. Rule number one, always keep your vermouth in the fridge. Oh, that's the first mistake that I've made. Vermouth is a wine-based product, okay. so we want to keep in the fridge. And then it's fortified with spice and herbs. Okay. Some of those spice and herbs, they're very bitter, so they help to set your stomach before the meal. So it prepares you, gets your stomach feisty, perfect for antipasti like we got over here. Perfect timing for a nice little cocktail. Let's start with the first cocktail. Very simple, mm -hmm. martini and tonic. Beautiful. It's gonna take less than a minute. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is a nice double shot of Bianco Vermouth, 50 ml. Then we need a little bit of ice, please. Nice catch. A little bit of lime. So we're adding some citrus sour notes to the mm -hmm. cocktail. Now I'm gonna remove this one and now we're gonna top up some tonic water, fresh. Okay, beautiful. Absolutely classic. Let's have a little taste. Delicious. Absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of got slightly elderflower notes. That's great. What next? Negroni, one of your favorite cocktail, actually the Italian favorite. I'm gonna do it? Go ahead. Nice, so we need uh, 25 mils, uh, equal quants of sweet vermouth, red. What is the vermouth? Uh, in the fridge, so one 25 mil shot of the beautiful sweet vermouth. Then we got some gorgeous bitters. I love this so much. 25 mils again, such a lovely harmony between bitterness, sweetness, spice, that goes in. Then we go on to 25 ml of gin. It's the perfect cocktail. Three ingredients, one third, one third, one third. A lot of ice. Such a classic. And I'm gonna give it a little twiddle around. Now you could squeeze it like this, but if you wanna be a purist, then you squeeze it like this. And you might say why? And that's because you want the juice to go all around the oily skin. So there we go. Try. Can I try it? Mmm, mm. give it a try. Nice, sweet bitterness. The whole botanicals between the gin and the bitter, the vermouth, they all come through. Nice around it in your mouth. It's such a joyous, joyous drink. Delicious. What's the third one? It's a classic cocktail, it's called the Bronx. What are we gonna combine? Sweet vermouth, dry vermouth, gin, and fresh orange juice. Again, let's go. 25 ml of freshly squeezed orange juice. Ice into the tin. Now we're gonna take the last bottle of vermouth, dry style of vermouth, and 25 ml of dry vermouth. Nice. Third ingredient, 25 ml of sweet vermouth. And now, last but not least, the main ingredient, gin. London dry gin. Same, same again, darling? Yes. We close the shaker. Jamie, you wanna give a shake? We give it a shake. That is impressive, impressive. Yes, a little bit of flair. This is a beautiful classic cocktail. And you don't double strain it? No, you just single strain it because this beautiful little piece of orange juice that you want to taste. So three wonderful spirits. Jamie, yeah. what about the garnish? Ah, sorry, I got too excited. Here we are, we take a little toothpick and this beautiful cherry maraschino, nice and sweet, we drop into the cocktail. With the cocktail stick? Yes. The three beautiful spirits. But beautifully balanced with the orange juice as well. Really, really good. So you should get the sourness, the sweet, the dry, and the complexity of the overall cocktail in your mouth. Really nice, really nice. Three amazing cocktails. Big enough vermouth, really underrated. I think this, is an amazing, amazing spirit to work with. To finish, yes. to serve our perfect aperitivo, we have some charcuterie, olives, capers, brazala. So there you go, that was really, really good. I enjoyed that. Three amazing cocktails, very fast and very refreshing. So guys, thank you, I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see me and Giuseppe in Turin making two more classic cocktails from Italia, uh, please click the link over there. Hope you're gonna love it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, from me and Giuseppe, Ciao!